Hello mga ka-wisdom! Welcome to Wisdom is Power Channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like, mag-comment, at si-share ang video ito. I-click mo na rin ang notification bell to receive more wisdom videos na katulad nito. Salamat! Ngayon pag-uusapan natin, alternator power losses and its efficiency. Losses in AC generator. In an ideal condition, the output provided by the AC generator equals the input. But in real life situations, this is not the case. Instead, the output is always less than the input due to the external effects. There are losses within the generator itself. These losses usually take in the form of dissipated heat. Where P is equals to I squared multiplied by R. That is the dissipated heat. So, we have different losses in AC generator. We have the power losses, hysteresis losses, the eddy current losses, and the internal voltage drop. So, the total losses expressed in dissipated heat is the sum of all losses present in the generator. We have different losses. We have the armature winding copper losses. We have the friction and winding losses. We have also the core losses. That is the sum of eddy currents and the hysteresis losses. We have the field winding losses and the ventilation losses. So the efficiency of an AC generator is the ratio of the useful power, power output to the total power input. AC generator is a machine. It uses mechanical parts to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. Because of because any mechanical process experiences some losses, no AC generator can be 100% efficient. So our equation for efficiency, that is output power, all over the input power multiplied by 100%. Well, the efficiency is expressed in the lowercase Greek letter eta. Where the efficiency is equals to output power over input power multiplied by 100%. So the output power, so we all know we have the power for the three phase that is equals to square root of three multiplied by the line voltage multiplied by the line current multiplied by cosine theta or simply power factor. Armature losses that will be equals to 3 multiplied by I squared multiplied by the armature resistance. The field winding losses or the that is equals to V times I of the field winding. Where P sub F is also equals to I squared multiplied by R sub F. Also, it is equals to V sub F uh, squared all over R sub F. The input power is equal to the output power plus the summation of all the power losses. So simply, the efficiency is equal to the output power all over the output power plus the summation of all power losses multiplied by 100%. So that is another equation for the efficiency. And another equation to express Efficiency is the input power minus the summation of all power losses divided by the input power multiplied by 100%. So these are the equations we use to determine the efficiency of an alternator or simply AC generator. So let's have practice problem number one. So determine the efficiency of a three phase 1500 kilovolt ampere 2.3 kilovolt alternator which operates at rated output with a power factor of 80%. The field winding losses is 8.4 kilowatts. Friction and one gauge losses are 15 kilowatts. Iron loss is 35 kilowatts and stray losses is 1.5 kilowatts. So we have the following given the apparent power that is 1500 kBA, the line voltage is 2.3 kilovolts, the power factor is 0 0.8, the field winding is 8.4 kilowatts, 
the friction and windage losses are 15 kilowatts. The iron loss is 35 kilowatts and the stray losses is 1.5 kilowatts. So we are asked to solve for the efficiency. So using our equation for the efficiency, first we need to solve for the power or the real power. So power factor is equals to real power all over the apparent power. So to solve for the power, so that is equals to 1500 kBa multiplied by the power factor of 0 0.8, then we will get 1200 kilowatts. So that is our output power. So using our equation in the in solving the efficiency, that will be output power divided by output power plus the summation of all power losses multiplied by 100%. So input lang natin yung value na present na nasolve natin at mga given sa ating equation, then we will get 95.25% efficiency. For practice problem number two, a 2,500 kBA, 3 phase, 6 hertz, 6.6 .6 kilovolts, Y connected alternator has a field resistance of 0 0.45 ohms and an armature resistance of 0 0.05 ohms per phase. The field current at full load is 200 amperes. The stray power losses around to 82 kilowatts. Calculate the efficiency of the alternator at full load 0 0.85 power factor lagging. So again, we will write all the given first as stated in the problem. Then we are asked to solve for the efficiency. So again, the first step is to get the real power or the output power using the equation power factor is equals to true power all over the apparent power. So rearranging the equation, we will get the power is equal to 2500 kBa multiplied by 0 0.85 power factor. So we will get 2125 kilowatts of output power. So then we will solve the line current that is power all over square root of 3 multiplied by the line voltage multiplied by the power factor. Then substitute all the given values to our equation. Then we will get 218.69 amperes. Since ito ay Y, we all know na ang Y, ang characteristic ng Y kapag in terms of current, the line current is also equal to the phase current. The, the armature losses, that will be 3 I squared multiplied by RA. So substitute all the values, yung ating phase current to be squared, multiply by 3, multiply by the armature resistance of 0 0.05, then that is 7.17 .7 kilowatts. So that is our armature loss. For the field winding, that is equals to I squared R sub F, then we will substitute 200 multiply. Uh, 200 squared multiplied by 0 0.45. This, that is the field current at full load. So the field uh, loss that will be equals to 18 kilowatts. Then substitute to our equation to get the efficiency that is the output power all over the output power plus the summation of all power losses multiplied by 100%. So substitute all the given and the quantity in, the, in our formula, then we will get 95.20% of efficiency. For practice problem number three, a 2 MBA, 2.3 kilovolts, three-phase Y-connected alternator operates at rated KBA at a power factor of 80%. The DC armature winding resistance between terminals is 0 0.08 ohm. The field takes 70 ampere and 125 volts from exciter equipment. The friction and windage loss is 20 kilowatts, iron losses 36 kilowatts, and stray load losses are 2 kilowatts. 
Calculate the efficiency of the alternator. Assume the effective armature winding resistance is 120% of the DC resistance. So again, let us write all the given first coming from the problem. Then we are asked to solve for the efficiency. So first, again, we will solve for the output power that is 200, 2000 kVA multiplied by 0 0.8 power factor that is 1600 kilowatts output power. Then solve for the line current that is power all over square root of 3 multiplied by the line voltage multiplied by the power factor and we will get line current is equals to 502.04 amperes. So we all know the characteristics of a Y. The line current is also equal to the phase current. So, so to solve for the power, that is equal to V multiplied by I for the field winding. So this is 125 volts multiplied by 70 amperes. So that is simply 8.75 kilowatts. To determine the DC resistance, that is the terminal resistance multi, uh, divided by two, because that is we have two terminals. So the terminals between terminals divided by two, that is equal to 0 0.08 divided by two, that is equal to 0 0.04. Since the given is the armature winding resistance is 120% of the DC resistance, then the RDC, we will multiply by it by 120%. So it will give us 0 0.048 for the armature resistance. Then to get the armature losses, we will use the equation 3 multiplied by I squared R sub A. Then substitute yung mga values na nakuha natin sa ating equation. Then we will get 36.29 kilowatts. Then we will proceed now to our equation to get the efficiency. That is output power all over the output power plus the summation of all power losses multiplied by 100%. So, if plug in lang natin yung mga values sa ating equation, then it will give us 93.95% efficiency. So, that's all mga ka-wisdom. So, again, kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like, mag-comment, at i-share ang video ito. Click mo na rin ang notification bell to receive more wisdom videos na katulad nito. Salamat!